Today, we're going to be talking about an index and how to mark entries within an index and insert an index. Now, remember that an index is an alphabetical list of words together with the page numbers showing where those words occur. So here we have a document and we're going to create an index with this and we're going to take these highlighted words, the ones in blue. Okay, we're going to mark those entries as we go through the document. Let's see, and there we go. We're going to put our index in at the bottom. So let's go to our word diabetes. I'm going to highlight that. Let's say I want to mark this entry. I'm going to go to my references tab. I'm going to go over to my index category over here and click on mark entry. And there it's telling me the word that I've highlighted and I'm going to either mark or mark all. If I say mark all, it's gonna mark all of the words diabetes. And I know there's a few of them, so I'm going to click on mark all. And I'm gonna click close. Now, because I've got my paragraph markings on, you can see um, what's actually sort of written next to that. Now, what I want to do is I wanna take that shading away. and i want to turn it into a small d let's continue to do this with a number of the other entries Now that we're done, we're going to insert our index. So again, references, we're now going to go insert index. We're going to use the default settings that we have here because we can say, you know, we can choose how many columns we want. We can choose how we're going to um, align the page numbers, the leaders, all of these things. But for now, we're going to leave it as is and we're going to click OK. Now, what you'll find is the following. Let me just take paragraph markings away you'll find everything here but diabetes for example you'll see two instances of that one is with a small d the other one with a capital one highlighted and one not so let's go through our document to see why this is the case ah so the problem is because of this one over here so let's change that to a small d let's then take the shading off and then we're going to go down to our index and we're actually going to go to references and we're going to say update index and do you see it's now been updated so i can go back make some changes and then just update my index sort of like our table of contents table of figures um, those those automatic tables